my name is Mr. Lee, and I am your 7-Minute Sensei. This course is a foundation to the digital world that provides a broad understanding of key applications, competing fundamentals, and living online. Students will have the opportunity to use technology and develop skills that promote creativity, critical thinking, productivity, and collaboration in the classroom and in everyday life. This course is aligned with the International Society for Technology in Education, for students, the K through 12 computer science standards and industry standards for digital literacy certification. The alignment of these national and international benchmarks will ensure that students complete the course as a prerequisite to transition successfully to the 9 through 12 grade digital studies course. In this first module, we will learn about keyboard efficiency. You, as a student, must enhance your keyboarding skills. This strand will be incorporated throughout the course. Standard 1. Students will enhance and demonstrate proper key by touch skills and keyboarding techniques. You must sit up straight, feet flat on the floor, body centered with the G and H keys, fingers curved on the home row, A, S, D, F, J, K, L, semicolon. Wrists straight and elbows naturally at sides. Correct fingers used for keystrokes. Key by touch, eyes on copy or screen, not on keys. Key with smooth rhythm. Strand two, information processing cycle. Students will identify a computer as a device that utilizes hardware and software to accept input, process data, store data, and produce output. Standard one. Identify computer hardware in the information processing cycle. Define hardware as the physical components that make up a computing system, computer, or computing device. Identify primary hardware components of a computer, the monitor, keyboard, system unit, motherboard, power supply, hard drive, solid state drive, central processing unit or CPU, mouse, touchpad, and touchscreen. Define peripheral devices as an internal or external device that connects directly to a computer but does not contribute to the primary function of a computer. Identify Primary peripheral devices, printer, camera, projector, speakers, headphones, microphone, game controller, virtual reality headsets. Standard two, explain the role of software for a computing system. Define software as a set of instructions that runs a computing system, computer, or other computing device. Define the two types of software for a computing system. Operating system is software that controls the communications between the hardware and application software of a computer. Application software is developed to help the user perform specific tasks, identify the primary operating system of a computing device. Windows, Mac OS, Android, iOS, Linux. Identify the common application software for a computing device. Business software, such as word processing, spreadsheets, databases, presentations, email, and calendaring. Communication software, social media, email, video conference, instant messaging. Entertainment software, virtual reality, streaming, gaming. Multimedia software, photo, 
image, video, audio, speech to text, artificial intelligence, or AI, speech technology, education software, learning management system, LMS, gradebook, ebooks. Standard three. Define input device and explain how input device function in the information processing cycle. Define input device as hardware equipment used to transfer data to a computing system for processing. Explain the function of a primary input device. Keyboard, mouse, touchpad, touchscreen, microphone, camera, game controller. Standard four. Define processing and explain how processing functions in the information processing cycle. Define and explain the main processing device in a computer system. Central processing unit, or CPU, is a master chip that controls all other aspects of the computer. Define the relationship of an algorithm, loop, and conditional in a computer processing. Algorithm is a set of instructions to complete a task. The CPU uses the algorithm as an input to produce output. Loop is a programming structure that repeats a set of instructions as long as a specific condition is true. The CPU uses the loop as an input to repeat the task to output data until the specific condition is true. Conditional. Conditional is a feature of a programming language that performs different computations or actions depending on whether a program specific Boolean condition evaluate to true or false. The CPU uses the conditional as an input to continue to evaluate whether or not to send output data. Explain the role of the CPU, memory, and storage when purchasing a computer device based on the individual user's need. Standard 5. Explain how memory and storage device function in the information processing cycle. Define memory as temporarily stored data for immediate use in a computer system. Define the two types of memory for a computer system. Random access memory, or RAM, is used by the operating system and application software while the computer is running. Read-only memory is preloaded instructions for booting up the computer. Define storage as a place where data can be held and retrieved at a later time. Identify the benefits of using different types of primary storage. Define hard drive as an internal storage device that stores data. Define external hard drive as a portable storage device that stores data. Define flash drive as a small portable storage device that uses electrical rewritable storage flash to store or transfer data, that is, USB, thumb drive, memory stick, jump drive. Define solid state drive, or SSD, as a storage device that uses an electrical rewritable storage flash and performs tasks faster than a hard drive. Define memory card as a small, flat flash drive used in mobile devices and digital cameras such as SD card, micro SD card. Define cloud storage as storage where data is transmitted and stored on remote storage systems where it is maintained, managed, and backed up and made available to users over a network such as Google Drive, iCloud, Dropbox, OneDrive. Standard six, explain how output devices function in the information processing cycle. Define output as information processed from a computing system and received by the user. Define output device as hardware equipment used to transfer data out from a computer system. Explain the function of primary output devices, monitor, screen, printer, projector, speakers, headphones. And this ends strand two.